Hi friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. Today is day number one of the Suns Out Books Out Readathon, hosted by a bunch of lovely ladies. I will have them linked in the description box for you, as well as the Discord channel, just in case you want to join that. That's one of my favorite things about a readathon is it brings a community of people together that maybe you wouldn't normally talk to on like a daily basis. But for the next seven days, I'm going to be chatting with them and it's going to be so much fun. I'm also going to be daily vlogging you guys. I haven't done daily vlogs in a while but for the next seven days you can expect daily vlogs from me starting today Monday June 20th running up through Sunday June 26th. So I thought I would go ahead and share my reading plans my TBR with you um, starting with the group book which is The Counselors by Jessica Goodman. I really don't know too much about this other than it is a YA thriller set at a summer camp and to be completely honest I don't read a lot of YA anymore but it's the group book so I want to read it because everybody's going to be talking about it and I do love a summer camp setting. Um, so yeah so I am still looking forward to it despite it being YA. I have another summer thriller on my TBR Deep Water by Emma Bamford just released recently. Um, I think this is her thriller debut. I know she has some like travel memoirs and stuff um, and I know she has another summer thriller coming out next summer um, but this one is kind of like a mix between the beach and the ruins and the beach is one of my all-time favorite uh, movies and guys let's just take a moment to appreciate this map. I mean oh can you even it's so awesome. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. I also have The Secret Bridesmaid by Katie Burchall. And this is a modern British aristocrat wedding type story. Um, the main character's name is Sophie and she is a bridesmaid for hire but kind of like in secret. Like nobody knows that she's actually helping a bride plan the wedding. But she totally is. She's like basically a wedding planner but in bridesmaid form and when she goes to the wedding she acts like she's one of the brides like best friends from childhood or something like that so it's kind of like in secret on the down low um and yeah i'm really excited to read that one as well and the last book that is kind of sort of on my tbr is the new riley sager book the house across the lake um it comes out on tuesday i did pre-order it i did pre-order it for myself as well as my friend jesse actually um we're going to be reading it for my podcast talk bookers to me but that episode doesn't release until august 8th so it's kind of like lower down on my priority list this week but I still hope to get to it very very soon anyway those are the books that I'm hoping to read I'm gonna take you along with me all day long all week long and we'll see what I get into all right chat with you guys soon before I can get to the fun part of reading though I kind of need to clean up this mess it's a disaster. Um, we have stuff all over our counters. We have all of this stuff to recycle. I need to unpack this pack from yesterday. I have dishes that need to be done. Yeah, it's just, there's stuff all over the dining room table, as you can see. It's a freaking mess. And the main reason is, is that yesterday, my husband and I went on a 10 mile, like long beach hiking excursion and yeah just everything got thrown by the wayside when we got home because we were absolutely exhausted so i'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning and then i'm gonna see if i can get an audiobook and maybe go for a little walk that might be the plan
laundry is going right over there, but the kitchen is clean. The dining room is clean. I took all the boxes out to the recycling. I vacuumed. It's good to go. Um, now I just need to unpack this from yesterday. do a little check-in. I'm about 56% of the way through this book. It's called The Secret Bridesmaid by Katie Burchall. Um, this morning I've just been really really busy like cleaning the kitchen, cleaning the dining room, unpacking my pack. I had two videos to edit. I had to call the dentist and cancel an appointment. I had to post stuff on my podcast Instagram and I have been listening to this on audio through the Hoopla app. Is it Hoopla that I have it through? No, actually it's the Libby app. So yeah, I have it available through the Libby app. Um, and overall, like I am enjoying it. It's a good quick listen. Um, it's just it's not really standing out to me. It's kind of like, it reminds me a lot of how I felt about Wait For It by Jen McKinley, um, where it's billed as like a romance, but it's more like a contemporary story with romance elements woven in. And I don't think I've ever read a book and been like, oh my God, it's about weddings. That's my favorite thing ever. Um, I've read The Wedding Date by Jasmine Guillory. I've read, I don't know what other wedding books I have read. I'm sure I have read more than just that one, but I don't really like pick up books because they're wedding related, if that makes sense. Um, and it's just a lot of wedding planning in here. Our main character in here, Sophie Breeze, is a um, bridesmaid for hire, basically, instead of like a wedding planner or something, but she does it on the down low, like people think that they're an old friend or something like that. They're basically trying to like, and she'll be at the wedding, but like as the cousin that nobody's met or whatever like that. When she's hired by Lady Victoria Swan, a former model and it girl of 1970s London, um, basically her daughter Cordelia, so Lady Victoria's daughter Cordelia, an absolute diva, um, is determined to make Sophie's life a nightmare. So Cordelia's mother Victoria hires Sophie um, and nobody knows except for Cordelia, the mom, and then obviously Sophie. And I don't think anybody else knows, like not even other members of the family, not the dad, not the brothers, not her friends, anything like that. And they're supposed to be like childhood friends or something like that. And this girl, Cordelia, is just coming off as like a huge bridezilla but I think there's like a backstory of like why she's acting like this because everyone around her seems to think like is making Sophia think 
that she's not getting the full picture. So it's kind of like, why is she acting like this? So you're trying to find out that, but you're also just wondering like, how is she going to pull off this wedding? And then of course she has other weddings that she's planning as well or helping, you know, figure things out. Basically, if a bride has like a problem, they'll call her and be like, oh my gosh, can you help me figure this out? every plate just got here but I actually have dinner um, pulled out over here it was like a recipe from last week so for dinner we're gonna have roasted bell pepper flatbreads with creamy tomato sauce and mozzarella looks and sounds really really good all the directions are on the back all of the ingredients pulled out so it just tells you it just tells you what you need and I have that pulled out over here but first I need to unpack my new box something that's like a white dress yeah I change into it before I eat this delicious flatbread I did want to let you know while I was cooking I did manage to finish the secret bridesmaid and I think I'm gonna rate it three out of five stars it was really cute um, it's interesting though because it's giving off summer vibes like this dress with no sleeves the sun hat like the heels like the flowers it's set during winter time and new years and stuff like that so like i don't understand the cover this is not giving what the story is giving but i did overall enjoy the story it's not a romance it's more about female friendships about being a celebrity or like in the public eye and what that means um yeah life of royalty it has some humor it has some wit um not my favorite though i was expecting to love this one more maybe if it was like a wedding in the hamptons or something like that um and even though it was set in winter i don't think it felt wintery um 
But yeah, I really like the messages of female friendship, trusting people, not trusting people, bringing people into your lives that are important and that you trust and all that. So yay, I finished my first book of the Suns Out Books Out Readathon. That's amazing. And now I am going to eat dinner and then clean up. And then at eight o'clock, I'm actually, I know Jessie has her reading sprints tonight. Um, I'm gonna miss them because all week long, t starting today through Sunday, with my patrons, I'm watching The Summer I Turned Pretty. We're gonna be doing a new episode every single night starting at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you wanna join my Patreon and watch every single episode with us all week long, I have the link to my Patreon linked down in the description box. Um, it's $5 a month, but we, we don't only do movie watches. Um, I have a podcast, if you didn't know, it's called Talk Bookish to Me. That is also always linked down below. But on my podcast, um, I do four book discussions a year, but my podcast is mainly geared towards recommendations and other fun literary topics. The host, Lauren, was actually on my podcast when I discussed Something Wilder by Christina Lauren. That was like one of my recent episodes. But I have a summer readings recommendation coming up in the fall. I like to do like horror type recommendations. Um, yeah, just all kind of literary topics. I also have an Instagram for my podcast. It's at Talk Bookish Podcast. So definitely check the links in the description box if you're looking to find me in other places. But for my Patreon, I do like bonus episodes over there, movie watches, um, reading live sprints and stuff like that. But I'm gonna enjoy my dinner and I'll check in with you after.